what entrepreneurship is about is the ability to recognize, analyze, and capture opportunity in order to create value by solving problems or providing a bundle of benefits. Today on Hiring America, we're talking about a program that helps veterans become entrepreneurs, the special boot camp out of Pace University in New York. The program was started by Bruce Bockenheimer. He is a clinical professor of management at Pace. We're also joined by two veterans who participated in last year's boot camp. Jesse Acosta, a West Point grad who served with the U.S. Army in Iraq and Afghanistan. Matthew Mainzer served in the U.S. Marine Corps as a signals intelligence analyst and fought in Afghanistan. Thank you all for joining us on Hiring America. So Bruce, what gave you the idea for this boot camp to help veterans? Well, we received a uh, request for a proposal from Blackstone to uh, suggest a program to help veterans transition that could be for direct work or um, entrepreneurship. Uh, so we wrote a, a proposal, I guess there was uh, several hundred proposals submitted, uh, six were accepted, uh, Pace University obviously being one of them, the only other one in New York was um, Cornell University and the, the other four are, are throughout the United States. If someone were to engage in this boot camp, what would they do? It's three hours where the first uh, hour of the boot camp is for uh, subjects around entrepreneurship, management, marketing, strategy. The second hour is very hands-on technical instruction. And the third hour is lab time where they get to actually work on what they learned in the technology program. And there's six weeks of those um, very intense programs followed by a, a seventh week in which they either pitch or, or present their idea for a new startup or just reflect on why they took the boot camp and what they took away from it to a, a panel of um, experts from the uh, business community who would be able to provide them with feedback, mentoring, networking, etc. So we have some successful graduates of your boot camp. Why don't you tell us a little bit about your military experience and uh, how it got you to your job that you have now? So I did five years in the Marine Corps, uh, two deployments to Afghanistan, one as a signals intel analyst and another as a signals intelligence operator. And the whole experience definitely led to being more goal-driven, uh, taking away a lot of things that helped me in the professional world in general. Uh, I was interested in the technical aspect of the boot camp. Uh, I did not have a business in mind per se, uh, and still didn't at the end of it. But the entire boot camp was uh, extremely informative, especially uh, things to do as far as testing markets, uh, you know, technical platforms, et cetera. And participating in this boot camp helped you land a job. It did, yes. Uh, at the presentation, I met the uh, VP and COO of Strategic Funding Source, David Sederholt, and he offered me a job on the spot. And tell me about your military experience. So I served about five years uh, in the U.S. Army's 82nd Airborne Division, uh, including one tour in Iraq, one tour in Afghanistan. I was wounded in Iraq uh, with some kind of career-ending uh, shrapnel wounds to the right side of my body. Uh, so shortly after there, I went back to school and was fortunate enough to land a job here in New York City. And what did you get out of the military boot camp? I personally took away the idea that, that I, I could bring in a whole host of ideas and, and my little network expanded a little bit further with this group and, and provide not only the physical resources but also the, the, the people um, to vet my ideas and see if any were worth exploring or perhaps tabling for the near term. And if someone in the military is watching this and transitioning to civilian life, what would you advise them? Just start talking to people to get a sense of, of this idea, this notion of building a network. It's not something that's natural to a veteran to go out and start asking ideas about uh, how they can build an idea or, or, or pursue something. I thought I could do it all on my own and I, I learned the hard way. Uh, you really do need help. And I think the second thing I would recommend is don't forget what you were. I think a lot of people try to turn off the switch with a lot of those skills and say I need to change in order to become somebody. You don't always bring those skills to the table and I think that's important to realize that we all know we've got them. So don't leave those on the table. What kind of help is out there for veterans who are interested in starting a small business or landing a job in finance? Well, there's a, a, a lot of benefits, as I said, through the, the GI Bill. There's also, in, at Pace University, a large support network for, for veterans. We have 
several hundred veterans studying both undergraduate and graduate. There's an office specifically dedicated for them. Jesse's point about building your network is incredibly important. It's good to use the, the resources that are out there and available, but what other um, networks can you build? There's just hundreds of, of meetups and events and organizations that they could go to. And I would say, go out there and just meet as many people as you can. Because in order to do great work, you have to love what you do. And when you find that, you'll figure out how to not only transition your military skills, but to gain those other skills that you, that you might not have. What kinds of veteran success stories have you seen? And what is it about veterans that makes them successful in the business world based on what you've seen? We just started a boot camp session this week. and. One of the, the students said, oh, I'm so passionate about entrepreneurship. This is so great. I, I can't believe it. I'm starting to cry. And to me, like, what else can you ask for? You know, that, that people just get, get so much out of it. If you could discover what your passion is and how to make a living out of that from something that came out of the boot camp, that's the most successful you know, thing to, in my mind that comes out of it, of a fulfilling professional career. And you speak to a lot of companies who are looking to hire veterans. What kinds of jobs are out there? What are they looking for? Any company think of hiring vets. I think the mistake is to think that, okay, they, they were soldiers. Someone put a gun in their hand, so the thing they should do here is work in law enforcement or loss prevention or something like that. That's a very, very narrow way of thinking and, and a very narrow part of what I think a veteran brings to the table. Remember, the bigger picture is that willingness to serve, that call to serve is important and, and such a, a other broad range of not only skills but a mindset that they bring. Again, paramount would be service. I gave the example at the boot camp. There was one session where we we're going to have a special networking reception and there was also a, a coat drive going on at the university and every veteran elected to go to the coat drive to help homeless people in the community as opposed to doing something that would, would be of personal benefit to them. and kind of a, a reception party. Um, so I think that, that that idea of these are people that have a, a longer perspective, that bring something different to the table, that have a unique set of skill sets, and that have a mindset focused primarily around service is, is really important. Thank you for sharing information about the boot camp with us and for telling us about your experiences. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you.